Hi Capricorn, Sun and Moon signs. Thank you so much for watching my channel Merging Timelines. I'm Melanie. Today we are going to do our life purpose reading. This is going to be for the month of March. March, sorry, the month of May. Maybe something happened to y'all in March, but this is for May 2019. Maybe the idea of this life purpose started in March. I don't know. But anyways, May 2019, Capricorn. Sun and Moon Signs, thank you so much for watching, continuing to watch the channel. And this Life Purpose series is about what you and your divine partner, what tool you're going to use to express your unconditional love. And as we get into the spread, we'll talk about where you guys are as in your union, whether you are together or separate. That's the thing that we will discuss in the tarot. So the Oracle is going to give us... What exactly are we building of our own, our own business, so that we can pass it down to our family, you know, and give them something of their own to work on? Your leaders. You guys are taking on this Aries energy. Like I said, this started in March. I know I said March for a reason. So my Capricorns started something in a March in that time frame where they started to become leaders. Why do you get that, Mel? Because the leader, as you know in the tarot, is known as the emperor. The emperor is Aries energy. So we're talking about something that you you kind of downloaded in March and maybe didn't know what the heck it, or where it was going. But today we're going to get to that. May 2019, it's coming together now. Woo, light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to the world. And you do it by taking charge. Now, what I want to say about the Aries energy, if you're not aware of that energy, right? Two different sides of the coin. Now, they govern the Queen of Fire, which is about creating Queen of Fire. It's about the I slay energy, which is like I'm the boss. But this boss, right, she's in a way of she demands attention because she's naturally attractive. She just attracts attention like that. Um, another way is because she has this way of being, or like the emperor has the way of being where they are naturally good at pointing out everyone else's strengths in a way where they're building each other and not talking down to one another. So that's the energy that you're taking on the month of May 2019. You're bringing whatever you downloaded in March, like when I mean downloaded, whatever hit your intuition in March and it was like this bright idea, the page of wands, it was the very beginning stage. Wherever that idea came from is where you're going to now, Capricorn. So light and love, please teach us all your light and love from your leadership qualities that you have. Maybe you work with a bunch of people and you're always that person who sits there and, you know, shows everyone else how to be or how to act, Capricorn, sun and moon signs. You guys are very good workers. You're very hard workers, Capricorn. So I definitely see that for you. You're coming out of healing and this is what is coming on and this is what's going on in your environment. I want to say your heart space, but this is, no, this is head. Head is talking about healing from backstabbing, betraying, third-party situations, past pains. It was all the past, and you're still healing from that in the month of May. And that's what's holding up everything moving forward in your environment. Your heart now has decided on one thing, though. It has its focus. It knows exactly what it wants. It's the seven of cups within its heart space. Um, Pisces also had this as their environment card. But you guys have it in your heart. Your heart says that you only know of one thing that you want. Yes, you hold on to it. You really do. You keep it close to your chest. You're not open to sharing what it is. You're not open to showing anyone what it is. But yet you hold tightly to it as if it's something that you, you value um, too much to let go. Sorry, my son just, <sighs> Lisa, spread the yogurt everywhere. <laughs> um, you have this coin that you're holding tightly to. Maybe your finances, because that's all about finances as well. But in the current position, you have the Aries energy we were discussing in the beginning of the video. 
this one was talking about you allowing yourself to release control over your finances or at least release the control that you have over something that you hold as a valuable possession to yourself because you're eliminating a lot of ideas that are in your heart space right yep getting rid of all those different options that were that were so confusing when it came to you staying focused on your intention within but now <clears throat> sorry voice is going out but now because your ego is healing that's what I feel like. Whatever you dealt with in the past damaged your ego. It damaged the way you felt about yourself in your environment. And so you had to allow yourself to heal from that sort of betrayal or that third party scenario, either or, whatever, you know your case, right? So whatever left you really broken inside, you carried that as your head space intellectually saying ego saying oh hell no they got us really messed up looking like oh no they this is this is not how i want to be viewed so your your heart is healing in the head of that if that makes sense i'm hoping i'm putting that in the you know what i hope you guys get me but now um you you're letting go of the control that you once had over this scenario, you know, you kept it close to your chest, whatever we're talking about, but <clears throat> maybe you kept the betrayal close to you. Maybe you kept the, the way that this bruised your ego to you. You haven't probably expressed it. That could be something too, because with Capricorn, one thing about you guys is you're such a worker bee that no one's going to really know how you feel or no one's going to know how you really, yep, how you feel. You're not going to wear it on your on your persona. You know, hell no. The, my persona is not going to say anything, but I work hard and I, I stay focused on what I can see. I, feelings, what are those? We did say that. We said that in May, in the May reading. <laughs> We're like, feelings, what are those? Capricorn doesn't have feelings. Of course you guys do. <clears throat> we got two advice cards that flew out. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's time to talk. You know what's so funny? These May readings, I think they're so close that I'm just reading the same energy line. But hey, for anyone who needs to have this clarified for them, let's talk about it. You're taking leadership. You are taking on this role of being the boss, the business owner. But um, you're using the light and love that you have within your heart space for this one thing to allow you to be able to openly teach others it in a, in this own walking expressive expressive way that you have right your ego is saying we're healed we're over it or if we're not for the month of may we're allowing ourselves to release that that pain and so the one thing that you're holding on to isn't at your reach, right? This is far away from you. You've got these cards. It's, it's not something that you're next to. It's someone at a distance. Something at a distance. I'd say someone because we're talking about unions and separations. So because we're talking about divine partnerships, you and this person aren't together, but you've released anxieties and fears about the connection because you held to your chest a lot of the finances, a lot of the um, secrets, whatever you didn't want to share or you didn't want to expose to others when it came to this third party situation that you dealt with in the past, you're now allowing yourself to release the anxiety towards it. Reason being is because you and this person have come out of arguing. You're now at a place where you are involving you and this person alone you that's awesome so you and your divine partner and I feel like if you're the woman watching the male that you're dealing with is carried on more of this releasing control because maybe you've taken over the finances or maybe you're the person in control of finances now where in the past they were and vice versa with the woman it's like the man that yep the man that you're dealing with is letting go of the control that he once had over finances and over these hidden secrets or things that he was just keeping close to his chest. Those are the things that he's allowing himself to let go of the control towards 
and it's helping you to eliminate all the other options that you had to create in sort of correspondence to this like you had no other choice but to invest in other places because they were holding on this reading went so fast for you guys and these are this is like how long I wanted the reading to stay but I keep looking at the time and I'm like why did that go so fast for Capricorn but maybe you guys like that you don't want to be here all day listening to me so I'm gonna just let it be like that you know Hopefully this gave you the, the message that you needed for your life purpose for the month of May. We're going to do a mid-month um, life purpose as well, I think, towards the end after I do the mid-monthly energy update. Anyways, thank you so much for watching Capricorn. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.